Grade 6 math number 11.2b, angle relationships and using inequalities to solve. It's going to be part 2 to 11.2a. So we said in the previous video, adjacent angles have a common vertex and a common ray. Adjacent means adjoining or neighboring. So angles 1 and 2 are adjacent, and 2 and 3 are adjacent, and 3 and 4 are adjacent, and 4 and 1 are adjacent. And you can see the common ray that is in between the adjacent angles, see? For 2 and 3, here's the common ray. For 3 and 4, here's the common ray, see? Vertical angles are formed opposite each other. So 2 and 4 are vertical, and 3 and 1 are vertical angles. And we talked about how congruent means that they have the same measure. They're equal in measure, okay? So I'm going to show you how we can solve a missing angle measure with inequalities. We're given this. Now we know it's a 90 degree angle, especially if it's got the little box here. And we're given that one of the angles is 54 degrees and the other one is 2x. Well, we know a 90 degree angle is 90 degrees, right? So what we do is we write an equation as an inequality. 2x plus 54 must equal 90, right? So with inverse operations, to solve the inequality, we remove the, the positive 54, the plus 54, we remove it from each side, okay? That's the addition property of inequalities and subtraction properties of inequalities. Remember we did that a couple videos ago? So now we're left with 2x is equal to 36 because these cancel each other out, don't they? They're zero pairs. So now all we have to do is divide both sides by 2 to get this x by itself. We want to isolate the x to one side. We want this x to be all by himself. So what we do, because it's 2 times x, and it's multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division, so we divide both sides by 2. That gets rid of these two, and 36 divided by 2 is 18, so we know x must equal 18. 2 times 18 plus the 54 is the 90. All right? Let's do another one. We've got uh, 42 plus and minus 4 equals 90 because we've got another 90 degree angle. Okay, let's draw our box. So we know it's 90 degrees. And we're given n minus 4 and a 42. So we know that we've got a 42 plus the n minus 4 is going to equal 90. So the first thing we do is we take the 42 off of each side. Okay? And that's going to give us n minus 4 is equal to 48 because 90 minus 42 is 48. So now because it's a minus 4, we add 4 to each side and then we end up with n is equal to 52. So we know that n is 52. See? All right. Let's try this one. We know that a straight angle is 180 degrees. And we've got 114 and we've got a 3x. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract 114 from each side to get rid of it. We're trying to get the x by itself. We're trying to isolate that x. So we subtract the 114 from each side and we get 66 for this side and we get 3x for this side. So now all we have to do, because 3x is multiplication and the inverse is division, is divide both sides by 3. And we end up with x is equal to 22, because 66 divided by 3 is 22. See? Isn't that cool how we can do this with inequalities? Okay, so now we've got a 23 degree angle and a 62 plus n angle. And we know it's a 90 degree angle, so what we have for an equation is... 23 plus 62 plus n equals 90. So we add these two, 23 and 62, and get 85 plus n equals 90. And we subtract 85 from each side, and we end up with n is equal to 5, because 80 minus 85, 90 minus 85 is 5, see? All right, let's try this one. We know this has got to be 180 degrees, and we've got 140 and a 2x. So our equation is 2x plus 140 equals the 180. So we subtract 140 from each side. We're trying to isolate that x and get them all by himself. And we end up with, because 180 minus 140 is 40, 2x equals 40. So to get rid of the 2, we divide both sides by 2, and that gets rid of the 2 over the 2. 
as a 1, and we know there's an invisible 1 in front of a variable, right? So now, 40 divided by 2 is 20. We know that it's there's 1x is equal to 20. See? We just don't write the 1, remember? 2 over 2 is a fraction that means 1. We just don't put the 1 in front of the x. The only time we start putting numbers in front of it is if it's 2 or greater, okay? 2x, 3x, 4x. All right. So now we've got this one. We've got an n minus 3 and a 53. We know they got to equal 180. So we've got 53 plus n minus 3 equals 180. So the first thing we do is take the 53 away from each side. And that gives us a n minus 3 is 127. Because the 53 and 53 are zero pairs. They cancel each other out. We drop down the n minus 3. And 180 minus 53 is 127. Okay? So now we've got n minus 3 equals 127. Because it's a minus 3, we add 3 to each side. And we get n is equal to 130. See? That wasn't that hard, was it? You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. It's not that hard, okay? Try it. I have faith in you, all right? I'll see you next video. Bye.